Vice President Yami Oshibajo labeled traitor by a group. And court sacks ex-speaker of the House of Representatives Yakubu Doga. This is Plus Politics and I'm Kofi Bajaj. You're welcome. The Oshiba Jo support movement says it knows the group behind the Judas who betrayed his master posters uh, that have flooded different parts of the country, which have described the vice president following Oshiba Jo's declaration of his intention to run for the office of president. A poster likening him to the biblical character Judas Iscariot and accusing him of betrayal was circulated on social media. And of course, these pictures were also posted at different parts of the city. Now, joining us uh, to discuss this, we have two guests, but we'll start with the convener of the Progressives Youth Group in the All Progressives Congress. He was with us yesterday, Idris Jibril. It's a pleasure to have you back. It's a pleasure to coffee. Thank you so much for having me here today. All right, and of course, along the line, we'll be joined by Alistair Wilcox. But let's start with you, uh, Idris Jibril. Um, have, you, have you seen these posters either um, in person, offline, or on the internet, social media, online? Yeah, the, the poster has actually flooded the social media. You know, posters like that are eye-catchers. They get posted everywhere, reshared, retweeted, and it's all over. We've seen it. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. Um, so, you, so you have seen these posters in Abuja? Yeah, hmm. I've seen it too. Interesting. What, 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 um, what went through your mind when you saw the caption with the vice president's face, Judas? Well, that is how low some people can be. It, 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 it actually exposed the dirty part of our politics here in this country. You know, Judas is a character from the Bible, and I don't think such character should be used to liken anybody at all. It, it's, it's a new law, actually. For me, it's a new law. Hmm. Interesting. Um, um, is there an indication, uh, as far as you're concerned, you're a member of the All Progressives Congress and you're the convener of the Young Progressives Group. Is there any indication as to who is behind these posters? You see, we, we are not even interested in who is behind it. But definitely we know whoever is behind it is feel threatened. They don't actually like the fact that the vice president declared his intention to throw his hat in the ring. And they feel that his presence is actually going to thwart their lifelong ambition. So to us, we feel his presence is for national interests. So we, we, whoever feels threatened should wait and go through the process. If they emerge or we emerge victorious, so be it. We all remain members of the same political party. Um, um we do know, I mean, we're well aware, and this is public knowledge, it's well documented, the relationship between Bola Ahmed Tinubu, um, the so-called national leader of the All Progressives Congress, and Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. Indeed, they have a political relationship. Some would even say uh, that uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the political benefactor of um, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. Uh, would, you, would you believe a narrative that, that says... Tinbu's supporters and loyalists are behind this, this, this posters flooding Abuja and other parts of the country. You see, at this point, we don't want to heat up the polity. We actually, we don't want to throw allegation. We actually want to be sure who is responsible for this before we go all out and, and throw back our own soccer punch back at them. But we don't want to throw allegation at any camp so far. We believe in the capacity and the integrity and character of our own candidate, and we are selling him based on his integrity and character. We don't really care about who else is doing this or that some other places. We just want to sell our candidate and sell him based on his merits, and that is what we want to do. We want to play this politics as clean as it can be. So, some, people, yeah, 
Yeah, some people have, have um, pointed to the fact that Bola Metinbu, in one of his speeches um, recently, said that he is ready to play dirty as far as the 2023 20, election is concerned. He's ready to get dirty, rather, as dirty as a pig. Um, do you think that people should hold on to that as uh, a reason to say Bola Tinubu or his supporters are behind these uh, Judas Iscariot posters? In our own context here in Nigeria, we, we go as low into the gutter to ensure we make a point or to discredit an opponent. But I think that is a very negative way to go. In marketing, I think you talk more about yourself than talking about your opponent. We, I don't even want to call names here. I want to concentrate on the candidate I believe in. I don't want to mention any name. Whoever is responsible will meet at the primary election. And if it's an opposition party, we will meet at the poll. Hmm. Indeed, uh, about three days ago, um, the, the media offices of both gentlemen we've mentioned on so far on the program, um, the media offices of uh, the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo uh, and the APC leader, Bola Ametinubu, they issued separate statements uh, on 19th of April precisely, warning the public to be aware of plots by unscrupulous persons against their principles. These were separate statements. Um, so when we, we hear the PYO through his office saying there are plots by unscrupulous elements, we don't know whether he is referring to Tinubu or some other person. And when we hear uh, from Tinubu's office that there are plots by unscrupulous elements, we don't know if he's referring to uh, PYO uh, or his, his group. So is it possible um, that uh, someone like Professor Yamiya Shibajo um, and his team can instigate something like this for political gain? You know, Prof in his character is a, quite a gentleman to go about throwing negative punches at people. Definitely. And all his supporters, all pro Sibanjo support group have also, they are, they've imbibed that character to sell the Prof based on his merits and to ignore any tantrum and doors from other opponents. So I don't think Prof referring to unscrupul unscrupulous elements meant he's referring to any other camp. Probably he's talking about the media um, the media castigation or the media war that has been meted out on him wherever he goes. All over the media, people have brought up accusations that are actually unsubstantiated anywhere. Hmm. But 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 the latest we're hearing. Hello. Is, yes. Hello. Uh, Alistair Wilcox, are you there, please? Yes, I'm joined. That I'm waiting for to be brought in. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Nice to have you. Um, uh, before before I, I come I come over to you. Um, let me just quickly round this up with with uh, Jibril. Uh, uh, Idris Jibril. The, the latest is that your Shibajo support movement movement OSM, which I know you you know the group we're talking about, is saying that they know the group behind the Judas who betrayed his master poster. They're saying this is the latest. This has been drug, dragged over the last six days. The latest is that they're saying they know those who are behind this particular poster. You know, and they've also gone on to say um, uh, that in a statement uh, that the prime suspect is an Abuja-based graphics designer from Oshun State um, who has denied working for the former Lagos governor's campaign team. Uh, but he said, they're saying that records of his phone chats with a member of the team contradicted his statement to the police. You know, um, <clears throat> Adeju Mbabatunde, who is director of media and publicity of the Oshibajo support movement in a statement, claimed that chats and call logs of a suspect, suspect arrested, this is a graphic designer, by the security agencies indicate that a campaign team working for Tinubu was responsible for the posting of these these are uh, what he called blasphemous posters. Uh, 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 I, I think we would direct that question to to uh, uh, Alistair Wilkos. Alistair, what do you say to this? That they have discovered that a, 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 the campaign team of Tinubu is behind this. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Alistair. Yes, please go on. Okay, thank you very much. I, I joined late, and I want to salute my brother who has started the program. Um, I joined late, so. I'm not a member of any of the campaign group. I'm not, I will pick like a, an observer. And uh, as an observer, 
uh, what is happening within the police, especially within the APC camp, and not even down to between Tinubu and uh, Toshiba Joe, is for me rather quite unfortunate, very unfortunate. Uh, the issue of Judas and no Judas came up in the week of Easter. The week of Easter. Uh, you know, I mean, it was like, it, it started like a joke or like, you know, all the social media com comedy. You know, social media has a lot of com uh, comedians. And it was like, oh, this is the week when Jesus betrayed Jesus. And that's also the week uh, Vice President Shibajo was declaring his interest to run. For the presidency and thus betraying uh, Tinibu. So I took it as a laugh, of course. I laughed over it and I, and I never to gain this much of a crowd. But um, that uh, uh, people should risk as cheap as they could get. No sense. Two men involved here, uh, Ashwaju Balabe Tinibu and the vice president, uh, Yumi Shibajo, they are no mean men in politics in terms of, in, in terms of support. So now we're down to Judas and Jesus Christ. I think for me, it's, it's not only blasphemous, it's very, very uh, childish. And then um, that will not sell, that will not give, give anybody any mileage. Then that will really reduce the mileage of uh, Oshibaji. He wouldn't give the uh, blameth with any mileage, sincerely. Maybe people are trying to whip up sentiment. Uh, yes, I might, I might fall for I, I said this just a lesson because I might, I might be tilted toward that, that direction, but I don't think it will give. Uh, well, I'm a Tinubu and the mileage. Just like uh, the, I heard your other guests talking about, it's issues based now uh, that people should be looking at, talk, uh, talking about. Um, uh, if you ask me, uh, am I happy that the vice president is contesting? I'm here that year, not there. Um, I also know the sacrifices well, I'm a Tinubu has made uh, for the country and for the party, right from the time of ACN. And I also know how uh, the vice president March as uh, the vice president during the, in the trial for the uh, 15, 14, uh, 15 election, uh, some of the some of the things that made him to emerge. But will that now stop a man from exercising his right? For me, I don't think so. And so anybody starting to Judas and to uh, Jesus Christ, for me, is rather too petty, too too low, and uh, it will even be a negative to anybody who is thinking about it. And uh, I'm not worried about. I don't think the police has any issue, anything to do about chasing who. Print the poster. It's all over the internet. I mean, when Buhari was sick, uh, obituary or his obituary was all over the internet. So, uh, I mean, even when his son had an accident, his obituary, uh, his obituary was all over the internet. So, those things do not matter because the internet has become a junkyard for all kinds of nonsense. Mm. So, it shouldn't matter to anybody. But, 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 but uh, Alester, apart from it being on the internet, these posters are also seen around Abuja. Yes, I mean, uh, like I said, it's low. As far as I'm, it's a low, it's a low point in terms of uh, uh, electioneering campaign. Yes, of course, like the man said, like the other man said, uh, policy itself is a dirty game. So people want to go to that. But it's for me, it's quite a low, a low point of being that. Uh, it's uh, it's something that uh, wouldn't give anybody a mileage. Let it be the post. I mean, I'm in protocol right now. I'm not seeing the poster. Let it be in a Let it be anywhere. Posters don't sell campaign. Posters only only help people to. I mean, posters really do not do not do not matter in campaigns. Uh, in real campaign, when the issues are brought, I think for me, uh, the two gentlemen have enough issues to sell themselves. Their supporters should stop all this madness. I think it is supporters that have caused all this problem. But but uh, Alista, you, Alista, you you're, you're, you're blaming the supporters. Yeah, they all this problem. Yeah, Alista, you're blaming the supporters. Um, saying that they should stop this 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 madness, as you put it, um, but but the Tinubu support group, uh, sorry, the Bola Tinubu media media office, uh, came out to say that he is not behind it, their team is not behind it, that this um, is is those behind the posters intend to provoke anger against the person and aspiration of Tinubu, but that has been proven wrong by the Oshiba just support movement who was saying that they were able to apprehend the graphic designer behind this and that when the police went through his uh, his his call logs his chat what they saw was that he was having a whatsapp interaction with a key member of the Tinubu campaign team well it, it doesn't match for me um yes if the if the perpetrator is is found and again what are they finding him for? His politics they are playing. What are they finding the perpetrator for? His policies they are playing. And uh, if you choose to call Oshibajo a Judah, 
It's politics. Do I support it? No. But for a police to now start uh, saying it's chasing whoever published that article, for me, it's also a distraction and uh, not even the work of the police. If, if, if in, in political campaign, people are called names, people are called worst names, people are called all kinds of names in political campaign. So I do not understand why the police even such a thing who published that. But for me, the, the gross of it is the fact that this thing is being done and perpetrated by the support group. Sometimes it could also be the opposition. Because really, I will tell you for free, the opposition is more happy that Toshiba Joe should run against Tinubu than even uh, the, the, than even the real supporters of Tinubu, of uh, Toshiba Joe. The opposition is more interested in uh, the uh, PYO uh, 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 sorry, uh, Yemo Shibajo running for running against Tinubu than than even the APC establishment is interested in in them running. Mm -hmm. So, so as far as I'm concerned, it could be the opposition and the support groups that are overzealous in the activities. Okay. So that is for me, uh, and, and 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 I tell you, it's a very low point. In terms of the political camp, because it has no issues. It's just the, some of the yabis and abuses that is there, and tantrums that comes with politics. And it's not what the police or anybody should judge this about because it is mere political statements. All right, all right. Uh, um, um, I'll come back to you, uh, um, Idris Jibril. Um, yes. yeah. What do you think this says about the Tinubu campaign as a whole? Uh, that the media office, the same media office that came out to say that they or their principal was not behind this, from what we hear from the Oshibajo support movement, they have seen records of chats, uh, phone chats between the graphic designer of this Judas poster and the media office, in fact, two key members of the media office for Tinubu. What does this say about the Tinubu campaign and, and their strategy? Well... I, Kofi, I think as, as much as the OSM decided to dig deeper to find out who is responsible for this, which Alester has actually said is actually unnecessary, it's not necessary to go that deep to find out who is responsible for this. Definitely when statements like this or when findings like this come out, there will be a disclaimer. And the Tinubu campaign organization just disclaimed, you know, this support groups sometimes are overzealous. They want to prove a point. They want to be seen that they are working towards this particular goal or for their particular candidate. And sometimes they step out of line. And sometimes they go contrary to the strategy that they have mapped out for themselves. I am not standing in for Tinubu campaign organization, but I just want to believe that the person of Tinubu personally cannot come out and castigate Anoshibajo. He has repeatedly spoke so virtuously about Usibajo. So I believe he will not come out and tell us today again that the same man I have spoken so beautifully about is a Judas. So that is not Tinubu. He cannot do that. Mm. The records are out there in public. We can check it out. But, 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 but Jibro, you, you, you're aware that uh, a week ago, Bola Tinubu was, was, was uh, approached by a reporter who asked him, uh, what do you have to say about your son, who is um, contesting for the office of president. And he vehemently, he, he responded saying, my, my, none of my sons is old enough uh, to contest for the office of president. And some people took that as a very uh, strong and hard statement against the uh, vice president from his erstwhile political benefactor, Bola Chinubu. So uh, this picture you're painting about everything being yummy chummy between them, is, is it really the case? Looking at that statement by Tinubu. Well, the Vice President Professor Yomi Oshibajo is not his son in that sense. I know so many statements, some statements like this can be given many interpretations. But I think their relationship is more of a mentor and a mentee. And this is the norm of politics globally. Kinumbu himself was mentored by uh, the late MK Abiola. And Abiola himself received his mentorship from somewhere. So Tinubu gave an Osibajo a chance because Osibajo was actually qualified and competent for the job. He was not just picked up and given the favor. It wasn't a favor. He was given a job, a task to accomplish, and a task he accomplished beautifully. And before even Tinubu, he had other mentors 
who had exposed him to the legal profession and have taken him to higher grounds before Tinubu met him there and gave him attorney general of the state. So for Tinubu to say his son is not old enough to contest an election, I believe he's talking about his biological children and not his political associates. Hmm. Uh, uh, Alistair Wilcox, um, do, so, some political you know, observers, indeed members of the All Progressives Congress, have said that Tawaki is a vice president of derailing from the plan, the plan that was set in motion when he was uh, pushed forward to uh, represent the APC as a running mate to the flag bearer uh, at the time, uh, uh, candidate uh, um, uh, Muhammad Buhari. Uh, so some accused the vice president of derailing from the plan, which was, you're going there because Tirbu cannot go there. You know, of course, Tirbu himself has said that he could not be the running beat because that would mean a Muslim Muslim ticket. Um, so is 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 the vice president biting the the political hand that fed him? Well, I have not been. I have always been an observer all my life. I've not been in the thick and thing of politics, so uh, I don't know how the politicians think. But from a casual observation, and the, uh, and and the keen watcher and a keen advent supporter of the APC, uh, some of the f issues that led to the emergence of the vice president is very clear to me and to so many people and the entire the public. Like you said. It was obvious as at the time that the Tinubu contracted, who was the major um, uh, 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 brain or arrow behind the APC, approved Mohammed Buhari and contracted him to be the president and even worked towards him, imagine, of course, use all his, uh, all his uh, 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 what they call that, structures and everything, political sagacity to ensure that uh, 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 the president emerged. Of course, the idea was for him to be a vice president, but most of the coming of yours, most of yours that the, the, the the so-called Muslim Muslim ticket could not flash at that time. Of course, he has to nominate somebody. And um, nobody would know the fact that he nominated uh, only the vice president, who haven't excelled uh, as attorney general of, of Lagos State from 2009, from 1999 to 2007. And uh, he has, after that, attorney general, the, uh, the vice president, wherever he has been, has just left. He was not even in politics. He just left and was continuing his legal profession. And Tinubu went and bring him back. Uh, being a competent, somebody can competent and very competent, and he can vouch for to run the office. And of course, in all fairness, he did that office because so if there was an agreement between them, unless the Wilcox and several observers are not aware, I'm sure even my brother in the studio is not aware. If there was any meeting discussions behind the scenes between the two men, of course, which can also be inferred to have existed. But my brother in the studio would not is not aware. Unless I'm because I'm not aware of any uh, meeting that states categorically you are holding this office in trust for me and all whatnot. But looking at it from general from the general perspective, and that's why I say I think the supporters are the cause of this problem. I'm sure the supporters and the opposition are the cause of this problem. Looking at it generally, I mean common sense. Is, I mean uh, uh, natural natural common sense it takes that. Look, if a man gives you an opportunity, and as and then in in the, in the fact that. The man is interested in an opportunity that you are holding in trust. It's also fair that uh, you don't breach that trust. Politics or no politics, mentor or no mentor, mentee or no mentee, father and daughter and son or no father and son. If somebody has given an opportunity for you to excel in a position and that person needs that position, I think it's also fair that um, a natural justice and natural consequences that you don't buy that figure that fed you. I'm not saying, I'm not saying in totality that the Tinubu Abraham Tinubu fed the vice president. He's a very competent man. I, I mean, in, in all to his right. But the, 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 if you go and watch Ekiti State, Ekiti, Ekiti campaign in 2014, the campaign in Ekiti, where, Tinu, where, 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 where Shiva just said, I am qualified for this position. I am very, very, it, that, the, the tape is there. But for the interest of the country and for my party, I want to, st I stepped aside and push others forward. I think something like that, I'm paraphrasing it. I mean, a kitty campaign 2014 of the All Political Congress in the kitty. I think 2014, or at least 2015, I can't remember the exact time. The, the video are all in the, in the, so this is a man that has made sacrifices. So for people now, for people now, for people who do not know the nitty gritty of relationship between these two men, for people who do not know the arrangement between these two men, for the people who are pushing 
either side of the party to break the bones of each other. I think it's not fair to the, even the vice president of the Ashwaji himself. I'm not taking sides in this issue. Both men are competent. Ashwaji is not a, a, a mean man in politics. They push over. So he can even, he can even rightly say that uh, none of his son is grown up enough to be the, to, to challenge him for the presidency. He has so many sons politically. I, I understand that Fire Me, uh, Fire Me wanted to, uh, has also gone to seek to contest. So that's, that's, that's also his son. And so, 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 so if, it, if he says that, it might have several meanings. Because this is a man that has built men. And when you have built men, you are, I mean, I, I mean, it can actually come that you are their father. It doesn't have to be biological. But as far as I'm concerned, really, it is the supporters and the largest in the opposition that is trying to create this issue between these two men. These are two men that have gotten along in life very well. So whoever is pushing each other, I think they should stop. And uh, it's time that common sense should come. Nobody should begin to belittle, uh, I mean, belittle Ashwaju or belittle the vice president or begin to cast as passion on each of these two men. These are men that are accomplished colleagues in terms of political sagacity. All right, all right. Uh, Alyssa, th thank you very so much. So, you, 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 we can't forget that speech. Now, 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 put part in the will of, of their progress. Thank you, Alyssa. Uh, um, finally, from you, uh, uh, Idris Jibril, I'm sure you remember that yes. speech where, you know, in the 2015 campaign, uh, uh, Bola Metimbu did indeed, like Alyssa saying, say that he was qualified to be the vice president of Nigeria, running mate uh, to. to uh, Pre to Muhammad Buhari candidate at the time, but um, he decided to, to sacrifice. Um, so does this not therefore cast the, the vice president in, as, a, as a betrayer, as somebody who is not a team player, as somebody who probably is selfish and uh, cannot be trusted and isn't loyal? Because he at wouldn't all. be there not, if, if not people at, had not said, okay, not at for all. Me. Not at all, Kofi. You see, B.C. Akande's autobiography captured a lot of events for us to go back to and read the event that happened prior to the merger of the, uh, the ACN and AMPP and some of the legacy parties that met CPC. together to form the, the APC. That book is rich with a lot of history for us to go through. We understand very well and we appreciate the sacrifice that Tinubu has made for the party and also for the emergence of Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. But I will, I will ask people to go back to that book, read it, and see what transpired. It was succinctly captured. Things that transpired were succinctly captured by B.C. Akonde, who was the major player in the events of 2014 to the merger and to the emergence of APC in 2015. And he captured everything that transpired in his autobiography. So I will ask audience and other people to go and read so that we know exactly what transpired between them. I, I, we know that the Muslim Muslim ticket will not fly because the country is already, is already polarized religiously. So he was asked to nominate people. Lo and behold, none of his nomination was even Yemi Oshibajo, according to, the, to B.C. Akonde's book. So it was much later that the Yemi Oshibajo came into the equation. We appreciate what Tinubu has done, but none of this amount to betrayal. I think the way we, we peddle the word betrayal will make young people like us start doubting who we take jobs from. Are you, I take are, a job are you, from are you as saying, a commissioner Are you today. saying that Tinubu didn't, um, did not recommend uh, uh, Yemi or Shibajo to be the running mate to Buhari? There were three names, according to the book. Three names were recommended. And there was a favorite. And it was much later that people like um, uh, the B.C. Akonde and Ajimo uh, Amosu had to prevail over reasons that the Emir Shibajo should be included in the list and sent to General Buhari to make his choice. And those three names were sent to Buhari. General Buhari made his choice and chose Professor Yemi Oshibajo. So young people like us will start doubting who will take our jobs from because tomorrow when you want to grow, somebody will say, no, you shouldn't go into this area because I have ventured into this field before. It's going to amount to betrayal. Why should that be? The field is quite large. We've not actually gotten a candidate yet. They are all aspirants within the political space, within the political party. Until a single candidate emerge, 
which we all are going to come together to support anybody that emerges in the party. At this point, the way we peddle the word betrayal, if one candidate emerge, dog eat dog, who is going to campaign for the other person? All right. All right. All right. We, we have to leave it at that. I want to thank you, Ms. Jibril, uh, convener of the, um, the Oshibajo um, Youth Group. Uh, I want to thank you very much for your time. Progressive uh, Youth Group, sir. Progressive Youth Group. I apologize. Slip of the Thank tongue. you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us via Zoom. Alistair Wilcox, Welcome. fantastic to have had you again today. Thank you for joining us uh, on via Zoom as well from Port Hackett. Appreciate your time. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. When we return, ex-speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, sacked by court. We'll look at that and the intricacies behind that as well.